Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpet the Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at making a pixel stretch effect to go with our double exposure and our disintegrated portraits that we've been doing recently. To do this, we're going to need to be in Photoshop, and you can see here that one selection of pixels from this picture has been stretched and warped to create this really cool kind of like wave effect. To do this, we'll need three layers. We'll need a background layer, and we'll need a pixel stretch layer and we'll need the subject layer. So I'll show you how to do it from step by step so you have a go at doing it yourself later on. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a background. I've got quite a large rectangle shape here. Place a picture that you're going to use to create the pixel stretch on and from that you need to select the subject. So you go to select and subject. Wait for a few moments. Well, Photoshop finds the image, and then if there's a bit you don't want, which is this bottle of water here, I don't want that in the image, just go to the minus tool here and click on that section, and it will remove that section from your selection. Then, once you've got this, you need to copy and paste it. So, we need to go to edit, copy, edit, paste, and you can see we've now cut out the subject. Next, we need to select a pixel to stretch. So to do that, we're going to use the tool over in the toolbar that is called the single column marquee tool. We will draw a single column where we want to take our selection from. And once we have done that, we will go to edit, copy and edit, paste again. And you will see this is our layer with a very, very small selection of pixels. We'll go to the stretch tool or the move tool rather, and we will make sure when we move it that we are stretching out our pixels, which currently we are not. So if that happens to you, go back. I oh, know it is just a bit laggy. So we get our pixels, we stretch it all the way across the screen like so, nice and simple, and press enter. Now we need to make sure that they line up where we want them. So you move it around to where you want it to be. Let's make sure it's exactly where you want lined up with the front of the image. Like so. Then we will make sure that our figure is in front of the selection. And then this is where the fun begins. So once we've got this stretched pixel effect, we could leave it like that. And that looks quite cool. Or we could do some more sophisticated work with it. So we're going to go to edit and transform and we're going to go to warp. So to do this it's better if you zoom out slightly so you've got more room around the image. Each blue dot will move the piece. Imagine you've got like a sheet of paper and you're going to be twisting it around. So if we drag this part up to here and then we drag the other part from this blue one down to here. You can see we've got a nice twisty effect. If that's not what we want, well that looks really cool actually, we can go to edit, transform and warp again and then we can take more areas of it and we can move those out as well so we can get it exactly how we want the warp to look. I'll maybe move that one up slightly. That one in a bit. Um, that one over there. So so you can see we can create these really, really lovely warped effects. So that's cool. So we've got that. And I'm just going to pause for a second. So as you can see, we've now got this warped effect here. There's one more element we need to add to our picture, and that is to create a background. So if we click on the background layer, I've been getting really into gradient backgrounds at the moment. So we'll select a nice gray color here and a white color there. We'll use the gradient tool and we will draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other to create our gradient effect. And there you are, there is your pixel stretch effect. Okay, thank you for watching and hope you have fun making your own pixel stretch effects in the future. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, pop over and click that lovely subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.